What's up, Better Days? Today we're at Couchville Lake. I was here yesterday before work and the surface temperature of the water was 57 and a half degrees. Couple that with a 36 degree air temperature and you get massive amounts of fog. Look at it rolling in there. This is sweet. I'm the first person in the park this morning and I, I was here a couple weeks ago. I caught 112 crappie. I want to try to break that number today. All right, I got some shiners and minnows. I'm gonna drop those out right beside the boat. Got one on a minnow. That was quick. Oh, he looks decent. First catch of the day is gonna be a keeper. Nice crappie, all right. That is a slab. He ate that minnow right under the boat. You guys know that's how I love to catch them. Not a lot of effort. Got another one. Boy, I just, as fast as I could drop a minnow down. He's no keeper. What? What? It's a green sunfish and it's bordering trophy size. My goodness. That's a big green sunfish. That's a big one, my goodness. Might even be a warm mouth. I'm gonna say that's a warm mouth. That's one of the biggest I've ever seen. Wow. Unbelievable catch. Beautiful fish, just look at the orange the orange on there. Wow. Got one. That's three. All right. Guys, we haven't been fishing four minutes. <laughs> nice. Got one on the side of the boat, Bobby Garland's hanging off the side. That's a fourth fish.
There's one. He got a good fight to him. He's pretty decent size. He's a fifth fish. He's not quite a keeper. He's really close, though. Man, he's heavy. Look at Shiner swimming. He's trying to swim away from whatever it is, I think. Yeah. He's got that line sideways. Oh, we got one. I was watching this Shiner and let my jig sink and something hit it. <laughs> it's a sixth fish. It's another crappie. <laughs> Started the day out here. It was 36. It's gonna be over 70. So I'm gonna have to come out of some of these layers. <laughs> There's a ninth fish. We got something big. It hit it on the drop. I don't have a lot of line on this pole. You can see the spool. I wasn't expecting that at all. Golly. It'll be tough to keep it hooked. I never set the hook on this fish. I was just a... Uh, messing around with my minnow bucket and the line just started screaming <sighs> what have we got don't want to horse it we broke off yesterday similar situation I've got doubles on but I'm going to focus on this one Got a fish on this other rod over here too. See him pulling at it. But we're gonna focus on this one. It's a heavy fish. He wants to go into the boat. We can't let him. There's an anchor under there. This is a heck of a fish. Come on, let's land it today. We didn't even get a look at it yesterday. We had no idea what it was. I thought it was a catfish, but this don't feel like no catfish right here. Can't let him go behind the boat. There's an anchor back there. Oh, he broke us off. <sighs> Same thing happened to me yesterday. Big old mystery fish broke me off out here on Couchville Lake. He don't count. We never got a look at him. This one's number 10. What did that fish hit that broke us off? He hit a 132nd ounce jig head, which is like this one, tiny little thing right here, and a Bobby Garland. Two 
two mornings in a row. I, I suspect those fish are hybrid bass to pull like that. The thing is, the drag was set right. He didn't break the line because the drag wasn't set super loose. He just had such a massive head turn, such a quick, such a massive head turn that it just snapped the line. The line never stood a chance. It wasn't, it wasn't the drag, it wasn't the reel. It wasn't frayed line or anything like that. It was just a massive fish with a super head turn. Just popped that line like a twig. Okay, that's number 13. That's a white, it's our first white crappie of the day. I didn't catch any of these yesterday. Nice, white crappie. All right, I've taken a break from recording. I'm on number 18. But I'm not gonna be able to record the whole day because I'm gonna be out here breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I'm gonna have to do selective recording just to keep up with my numbers. Right now we're at number 18. six casts in a row I've got a fish really starting to heat up as it warms up that's gonna be number 19 <laughs> ah, come on buddy that's seven in a row seven casts in a row Number 13 to number 20, just all on consecutive casts. All right, we're at 20. I'm gonna go ahead and GoPro stop recording. Number 23 is a spotted bass. He's a nice little spotted bass. Spotted bass in here don't have to be any particular length statewide regulations dictate you can keep five bass any size spotted bass not something we want a whole lot of in here we're gonna go ahead and get him out i got a buddy who wouldn't mind having those fillets all right number 26 is our first black nose so we've caught the three crappie the white the black and the black nose crappie number 26 Number 30. Fish number 30. Oh, I'm getting hit on another pole. I can't get to it. Number 32 was on a Bobby Garland right off the side of the boat. I think he's going to keep. I'll we'll have to check him. Oh, yeah. He's good. Cool. Number Number 34 is another one of those black nose crappie. I really love these fish. They're really cool looking. I'll pretty much always show you guys when I catch one of these. Look what he did to that Bobby Garland. You think he won? Five is the same off the side of the boat on those Bobby Garlands. You know these are catching fish two to one over minnows right now. I just said that and my minnow got a bite right at the right as I said that. <laughs> we got another big fish here. We're gonna do our best not to lose him. No guarantees, though, guys. The last three of whatever this is I've hooked into have broke off. Or the last two, I'm sorry. I suspect it's a hybrid.
We got him on the right pole this time. There's plenty of line on here. Let's let him tucker a little. Then we'll try to get some of this line back. Big fish. He is not happy. I could feel that coming. <laughs> kind of flipping like a catfish now. I hope it's not a catfish. There wasn't supposed to be any wind today, so you can hear the wind whistling through my line, of course. Come on, be a hybrid. He broke me off. It, see how he didn't pull any line? He just head flipped, boom, gone. He was on that bottom jig and he broke it off. <sighs> That's three now. Three absolute just screamers that we've lost out here. <laughs> so that screamer would have been number 40. And instead we get this little rink-a-dink here. That's, that's fishing for you. Number 46 is a decent little guy. I've been catching tiny little fish ever since I hooked that drag screamer. But there's a nice little crappie. He won't go 10, but he's nice. There's number 51. I've caught 51 fish, but it's not been a great day. It's bizarre to say something like that, but I would have thought I'd have caught a lot more fish by now. Fishing a few hours. And they're they're kind of few and far between. This morning was just crazy. It was popping. Just bang, bang, bang every cast. But it's kind of slowed down a little. Alright, I've been sitting here for eight hours. Just right in the same spot, not moving. Anchored on my buddy's anchor that's stuck here in the lake. And uh I just want to paddle around. I've caught 78 fish. I may not catch a single other one because I don't have as much luck paddling around out here as I do sitting still. But I'm getting antsy. I've sat here and had lunch and hung out with buddies and made a new friend. Shout out to George. Thanks for watching. And I just kind of want to move around a little. There he is. Come on, 90 beekeeper. I've got a few more hours in the day to fish, but I'm just all fished out. So I'm gonna end it with number 90. I usually don't do a last cast, I do a last fish. We'll call number 90 the last fish of the day. That was awesome, 90 fish. We fell short of our 100 goal, but we had a fantastic day. I ran into all kinds of people in the parking lot. I saw my buddy Jeff from high school. Good to see you, buddy. I saw Rick from Fishing with Rick. If you guys don't follow him, his channel's awesome. He catches a lot of sauger. He's good at it. And then I met my new buddy Bobby out here. This parking lot is jamming. Every parking space is full. Come on out. This is a great spot. And despite how many people there are, you can still catch 90 fish. I tell people where to go fishing. If you like that kind of thing, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a better day.